Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Regalia Rhetoric uh, with your host, Al Smith, the Gas Man. Uh, this uh, episode is entitled, We Are Crazy, But We're in Control. And uh, again, people have written to me and have asked me so many times, how are you guys doing what you're doing uh, up there in Canada? You have a faithful navigator who wears the new style uniform. You have 25 men who continue to wear nautical style regalia. You have ridden up all 25 men. Uh, they've all been ridden up. They, their files are full uh, with uh, suspension orders. And uh, you know, you showed us uh, how to write in the minutes of the meeting, how to um, you know, log in, official callouts, callouts, all of these things. And uh, you guys are still having so much fun. We want in. We want in. We want what you guys have. And it's pretty simple. What my assembly uh, basically did is that we sat down and said, listen, we disagree with the decision that uh, head office made regarding the nautical style regalia. They took it away from us. We had no say in it. And July the 1st came and the regalia was banned, gone. All of us have grown up through the order. And uh, of course, this is what we aspire to. So we sit down and say, listen, we're part of a group, a men's club. And uh, yeah, there's an insurance company attached to it. Uh, but we're not going to let the insurance company tell us what to do, and uh, because we're our own, we're our own men. We really are. Uh, the Knights of Columbus don't own us. Uh, we're shareholders in the Knights of Columbus. We're stakeholders. We're investors, and uh, they get to ride on our coattails. When we do charitable work in the community, they get, they get the credit. I mean, they got a good gig going on, right? Uh, they've got men under insurance policies. They've got men doing good work in the Catholic community and the community at large. And the Knights of Columbus get the credit because it's one of their guys doing the good work. Uh, but so we've, we've kind of said, you know what? We, we just want peace. We want to, to keep doing what we're doing. And, uh, you know, we, yeah, we took pledges. Yeah. We held up our hand and we said that we would obey the rules and uh, we would do all that. And in a boys club, uh, boys clubs, men's clubs, they have rules. And I've showed you the rules. I've showed you all the books, the 120 page uh, constitutional rules, the, the smaller fourth degree rule book. Uh, but when it comes, push comes to shove, the men wake up and say, you know what? We're not gonna let an insurance company a fraternal organization uh, tell us what to do and not to do. Um, we love doing this. Um, the community loves us coming out. Uh, they don't want this taken away. They don't, I mean, God bless the new program. You know, there, there is a place for berets and, and uh, blue blazers in society. Uh, but uh, the nautical style regalia is what we're known for. So. Uh, again, there has been no benefit in removing the regalia. This is always, uh, we as Catholics and we as uh, people who continue to discern, you know, we ask the question, what is the fruit? What is the fruit of removing the regalia? And uh, there hasn't been any good fruit. There's been despair, disappointment, sadness. Where did you guys go? What's happening? Wow, I saw that new uniform. I didn't really like it in church. Where's the fruit? There hasn't been a good fruit by banning the regalia, removing the regalia. We have men that are, have, are sitting there going, oh, the thing I signed up for, it's gone. It's gone. Uh, they told me I could just wear my tuxedo if I want. But I didn't just want a tuxedo. I wanted to be in a tuxedo, a cape, a chapeau, a sword. That's, that's what... I signed up for, that's what my grandchildren love, that's what the community loves. And on Remembrance Day, yeah, we're gonna do what we've always done. So I think it's this idea of the men are saying, you know what? Yeah, I made a pledge to 
the club. I made a pledge to my brother knights. And yeah, there's a thing saying that um, you break the pledge, you break the rules, the organization could kick you out. But we've all made this decision to say, you know what? If that's what they want to do, that's what they can do. But we're at peace. We're at peace. Again, we, we're free men. All over the world, Poland, Mexico, the Philippines, the United States, and Canada, uh, men are waking up, men who are members of the Knights of Columbus, and saying, you know what? I'm still going to wear this regalia, um, and I've got some friends that want to do it with me. And uh, I'm going to still remember, I'm still going to be a member of the assembly. I'm still going to be a member of the Knights of Columbus unless they want to get rid of me. The choice is, is if they want to get rid of me. And uh, these men are saying, what is the fruit of getting rid of the regalia? We haven't seen good fruit yet. We haven't seen anything. It's a takeaway. We took something away from the church. And the men in my assembly are saying, we're not taking it away from them. We're going to continue to give it to them. And if the price is uh, we get kicked out of the insurance company, we get kicked out of the, the men's group, and the local councils have to close because 25 volunteers have been removed from that uh, organization. Again, they get rid of us. They get rid of the Grand Knight, the district deputy, all of the executive of the regular councils. Um, we like to say we know what we're doing. Um, it's a controlled um, press. And uh, again, there's room for both uniforms. There's room. Um, again, there's room for berets in this world. But we don't get rid of our signature. We don't get rid of a program that has blessed the lives of men and the lives of the community uh, by their presence. It's a takeaway. It's a takeaway. And we're allowed as human beings with a conscience to say, not on our watch, not on our watch. Some might call us crazy. We like to think we know what we're doing and uh, we love what we're doing. And you'll keep seeing us on Facebook. <laughs> and you're gonna see not just our troop, there are troops all over the world still doing what we're doing. Uh, maybe I'm more popular than the next guy, I don't know. But uh, I like wearing this. And I love wearing that. And uh, people just continue to want to see us in that. Uh, again, there's systems in place. There's rules. There's uh, books upon books. There's minutes of the mining book. Uh, there's logs. There's manuals. There's systems in place. But they all can be um, used to your advantage. So again, we want peace. We want joy. And we know that joy comes from being good with our conscience and if the insurance company wants to kick us out kick out their customers kick out their volunteers we can live with that again who owns us who owns us who do we pledge our love and commitment to it's the lord and savior jesus christ i am more afraid of my wife than i am the uh the insurance company i want i value the needs of the community and I will continue to serve. And my brother knights continue to serve. My fellow sir knights. So yes, we're crazy. We know what we're doing. And because we love you. We love you. We want to keep serving you in this beautiful way. We don't want this taken away. We wanted it to be enhanced. We want it to stay. Uh, we want to respect the clergy, the bishops, the cardinals who ask us for the old regalia who say it, you enhance the mass. Um, again, we are loyal to the church. That's what we pledge. We pledge loyalty to the church, to the Holy Father, the bishops, the priests. And uh, most of all, we're here to serve the community, to serve the families. We're not here to take away programs. We're here to add programs. And uh, I tell you, I like to say we know what we're doing. Pray for us. <laughs> and, uh, because we want to keep doing what we're doing and encourage the men uh, out there to say, remember, uh, you own your soul. It's your soul. And um, you have to make decisions as to what groups you want to belong to and uh, what uh, men you want to shoulder up side by side with. And uh, I know that we love to shoulder ourselves up with men who have a common vision 
who believe in the principles of unity, fraternity, charity, and patriotism. And uh, again, we're here to uh, just say, you know what? It's not the end of the world, but we want to bring the good news to people. And uh, we know one way to do it. And it's through the uh, fourth degree. It's through uh, the presence, the visible arm of the Knights of Columbus in the community. So anyway, yeah, we're crazy, but we know what we're doing. So <laughs> continue to uh, pray along with us as we ask the Venerable Michael J. McGivney to uh, intercede for us and to guide us and to help us to continue to stir families. And uh, may God continue to bless and keep us in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'll see you again on another edition of Regalia Rhetoric here with your host, Al Smith the Gas Man.